Hello and welcome here at Just One More Card. I have a new project for you. I'm gonna make a card with a B on it. I've already laid it out with some scrap pieces of paper and I'm deciding on the sentiment. Um, I'm undecided between these two from Mama Elephant. Um, I decided on the sending smile one because I liked it better because it's more generic. You can use it in more situations, I feel. I've inked the stamp up off screen with Versafine Onyx Black. I feel this is the ink that gives you the best impression when using sentiments or having very intricate stamps. And I'm just lining up the grid lines on my acrylic block with my craft mat to make sure that the sentiment is there straight. The reason I'm stamping the sentiment first is that there will be stuff on top of it, um, like higher up on the card, and I wanted to make sure I have enough room for the sentiment, so that's why I'm basically going from the bottom to the top up. This striped stamp is from Clearly Besotted Stamps, and I've picked it up with my Fiskars stamp press, and I'm going to ink it up with Memento Lux Toffee Crunch Pigment Ink. Um, I thought that this ink would be light enough to be visible on the card, but as you can see, it's not really that visible not at least as much as I would have liked it to be. And so I put some clear embossing powder on top of it in the hope of making it stand out more. And it looked like it was a good idea um, initially, but once I started to heat set it, it became quite apparent that this wasn't the best idea I've ever had because it didn't really stand out any more than it did before. And so I just put it aside for the time being to worry about it later. I grabbed my circle punch and punched out three circles from Danny Paw's uh, white cardstock. That's similar to Basil um, Marshmallow card shop cardstock. It's a little bit thicker and since I want to color on top of it, I need a special kind of cardstock. I put the circles on the back of post-it notes so they wouldn't shift around so much. That makes it so much easier to work um, with them and stamping on top of them. I'm also using Versafine ink again. Um, because that won't smear when I use my Prismacolor pencils with them. And I'm gonna speed up the rest of the, the next part while I'm coloring. Here's a close-up of the coloring I've done so far. You can see some of the shading. I just love the Prismacolor pencils because they allow you um, to work this intricately. And I'm going to repeat the entire process with the B now. I'm going to speed it up again so you don't have to wait for so long. I figured out what I wanted to do with the stamping on the card. I used my Prismacolor pencils to add some color between the lines, um, between the embossing. Um, 
it was kind of an act of desperation because I didn't know what else to do. Um, I think I could have done worse, even though this probably wasn't my most creative idea. And I used some uh, masking tape on the bottom and top to make sure I wasn't coloring completely outside of the lines. Yeah. Um, here I've just laid out the colored pieces and now I'm using some foam tape. Um, behind uh, each circle to 3D mount it on top of the card. And again, I'm using the grid lines on my on my um, working surface to align the circles a bit, because after investing all this time, I really want to make sure that I'm not putting them on their crooked. I also actually wanted to use like a little striped, not striped, but dashed line to indicate that the bee was flying, but I just couldn't figure out how to put it there and, and I still to make it look great. So I simply refrained from doing that. But I feel, felt that I should at least 3D mount the little pieces to give the card some added interest. And also I could hide some of the um, coloring that went outside of the lines. Um, you know, on those uh, stripes before I started using the masking tape. Once I'd adhere that, I was like, hmm, okay, this looks good-ish, but it's not really, you know, astonishing. Um, so I used some confetti that I had cut with a mama elephant dye. It's actually called confetti. I cut this from um, cheap silver paper. From, actually, it's glitter paper, and I'm using some glossy accents that I've squirted out of the bottle off screen um, to adhere the stars onto the card. You know, just to give it a little bit extra and to add some interest and not leave the entire top part of the card empty. That's why I've added it. And then I've decided, hmm, let's grab the Wink of Stella markers. They're not um, brushes, they're markers. And I've just went over uh, some of the areas and added the markers there. And I think it just adds such a nice sparkle and intensifies the colors. It's absolutely worth the extra effort. As you can see here, and to me, it just looks gorgeous. The very subtle sparkle there. That was the card for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you back soon. Thanks for stopping by. Cheers!